guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley, and we're back with part two of the Big Sister Challenge. So we're picking up right where we left off, and I actually neglected to get her a job, so that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to get her a job. If we can do it, come on. Come on, come on. Here we go. Now, oh my god, I forgot her name. <laughs> I'm sure that, oh, Maria, right. I'm sure that Maria has a very set limit of skills. So, basically, she can't do much. A babysitter, I don't want her to be gone for that long and for that amount of days. We could do a retail employee. I mean, she's got a pretty cute sense of fashion, but then we won't work till Sunday which sort of sucks. Barista has really good hours, but it's only two hours a day. Hmm. 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's also not bad. I think she would be happier as a retail employee, though. So we're just going to do that. $33 an hour. Sounds good enough to me. Let's see. What is she asking for? Is she saying anything? No, she's just babbling a little bit. She does want to play with a toy, so I'm going to go ahead and let her do that. We're going to play with um, Chompy the Monster while Maria comes over here and just kidding. <laughs> we do not have enough Smolians to paint, so let's kind of go around and maybe harvest some of this stuff and dig up some of this crap over here. So some of you guys might wonder, like, why aren't you in the city? Blah, blah, blah. Like, an apartment's cheaper. Um... Their parents, or sorry, her mom, how about no, Paolo? I'm good. Wait, Paolo was kind of cute. Dang it. I wasn't even paying attention. Dang it, Paolo's kind of cute. Oh, well. Um, I don't want to join that club, though. That's the thing. Right, so what was I saying? Their mother, the reason they're not living in the city is because their mother works so hard for these 6,000 Smolians to give them a house. Um, now I realize an apartment is cheaper, but having a house that you can upgrade and do all this stuff with, that's what their mom wanted for them. She didn't want them to have to live in a dinky apartment with rats and weird neighbors, even though it does add sort of a dynamic, that's just not what their mom wanted. You know what I mean? So we might move to the city a bit later when, um, Delphi grows up, but her mom wanted her to have the experience of having a house, first and foremost, at least while she was little, because she doesn't want weird neighbors waking Delphi up in the middle of the night, and, you know, she just wanted a stable environment for her. So if you guys think we should move to the city when Delphi turns into a child, we definitely can do that, but for now, we live in this pretty nice area of Willow Creek, and it's a good way, too, because we can get money by digging up this stuff, and... Just all that. We can have a garden and you guys get it. You get it. So, moving to the city is definitely an option. Um, it's just not right now, basically, is what it boils down to. This is not what their mom wanted. Maria wants to tr test out the water, see if she can actually do this, see if she can afford a house. You know what I mean? So, that's what we're doing right now. At least until Delphi turns into a child, and then we might be able to um, change things up a little bit, get a different um, place, and maybe by then we can afford something a bit nicer for them. But with the way things are going, we will just have to see about that. So, what have we got so far? We've got this thing that I never opened because screw that. We've got one flipper that I've We've got one frog. We're going to get another. Let's sell these. Let's sell those treasure maps because I hate those. And we've got, oh, another good one. Let's see. Okay. So now we have two of those. We don't really have anywhere to put it. All right. I'm going to invest in a nightstand, I think, just to be able to this is cute. We can pretend that um, Maria sort of just found it on the street or something. <laughs> and 
and maybe salvaged it a bit by painting on it or whatever. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. Let's do, um, I don't want to do like a hundred. Let's just do a medium classic painting for now. And let me know what you guys think we should name this frog here if you want to name it. It's pretty cute. It's got purple, um, what am I thinking of? Purple polka dots on it. That's the word that I was looking for. Let's see. How is she doing? Go ahead and go play with that toy, sweetie, that you wanted to. She also wants to ask to read a book. It's pretty weird since we don't have a bookshelf, but whatever. I mean, we can still ask to read a book. It's fine. We'll just pretend maybe we had some books left over from when we were a kid that didn't get lost in the move and... It'll work out. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Talk to stuffed animal. Yes. Um, we can babble. Does that count? Babbling? All right. Put Mr. Monster away. Please. Oh, she's actually putting him back. Good. Okay. So Parenthood has released and I'm so excited. I don't know what um, sort of new interactions. We've got that. We can praise, which is pretty normal, but... Otherwise, um, you know, I don't really see, we should do this for sure. Maria is now the caregiver of Delphi. This means she will be able to check on the toddler's needs on a regular basis. Let's go ahead and potty train her once we're done. We're almost done with this painting. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and potty train her. She also wants to paint a landscape painting and what's this? Tell a funny story. <gasps> She lost emotional control. Oh, no. Hey, don't you get all sassy with me. Does she, like, not really have to go? No, she has to go. She's mad. She doesn't want to do it. <laughs> How about after this, I'll let her ask to read a book or something. Bite? Oh, I forgot about that. No, we're not going to bite her. What the heck? <laughs> no. That's actually really cute. I kind of don't want to sell it, but... 88 smolens, we'd make like $12 off it. I'll just put it in a room. It's cute. I know we just wasted money and you guys are going to be like, man, but it's cute. What can I say? I like it. <laughs> Let's um, book help. There we go. Book help. And hopefully that interaction will stay there. Come on. No, it didn't. That's okay. Come on, let's go. Perfect. Good job, Delphi. <gasps> Yay, she got all happy. All right, let's give some book help to her. I want her to be able to um, get these things so we can get her aspiration points in the future, which I don't know if that's like cheating or what, but whatever. She needs to be put down for a nap, I'm thinking. So after that, let's go ahead and... Um, tuck in just to see what that does and then we'll go ahead and clean this and take care of some of our needs just go to the bathroom real quick get all that boring stuff out of the way um I haven't actually watched this interaction I don't think unless it's just the same as it always has been yeah but now they can do that with kids I believe which is pretty cute so she's going to go ahead and just take a quick little nap and we're going to go to the bathroom and then do we have dinner in here? We do. So we can, how many servings are left? Five. Perfect. So then we can go ahead and grab a serving and then we'll be able to give some to Delphi after she wakes up from her nap. Okay, so that's right. We're a team. So that means we have this stuff too. But we don't have any parents influencing it. Huh. I wonder what that's going to mean for her. She ages up in 23 days and Delphi has 27. Yeah, we're going to... So we're keeping it on long just for like storyline purposes. But to keep things like realistic and whatever, I think like I'm just going to age them up when I feel like they're ready, if that makes sense. I know you guys are probably going to hate me for that, but I mean, what can I say? This is a storyline sort of LP, so I want to think 
I want to keep the challenge rules, but at the same time, too, I want to keep things pretty consistent. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to wake her up. And then we are going to grab a serving for Delphi. And she's getting up, and then she's going to... I know. I got you, girl. Don't even worry about it. And then we're going to go ahead and clean this up. Hmm. And then it looks like we're about done here. Delphi's going to go to bed. First, she's got to eat that. We can look at this, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> no, you're supposed to eat. Eat it. Don't play with those. She wants to watch Maria and hug Maria. Can we just watch her now? Talk about favorite color and watch as we eat, or can we not watch while we eat? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Aw, yellow. I wouldn't have guessed that for her. No, your favorite color is supposed to be purple. Salad's so like can't even see it, but <laughs> she's supposed to have it there. It's kind of funny. I love them. They're so cute. She's getting pretty tired. Let's stop that so that she can watch us. Um, Maybe paint just a small painting, see if we can get a few simoleons from that. And then we'll put Delphi to bed since it is pretty late here. Yeah, she definitely needs to go to bed after that. And then we will go to bed ourselves. Awesome. So let's go ahead and read Delphi to sleep right now before you finish that, please. Oh, painting does get her fun up. I really didn't think it did for some reason. But that's good that it does. Pretty excited. So in this LP, I'm imagining... Um, at this point in time, Maria is only about 15, not quite 16, 17, 18, whatever. Just because, like, I don't want that huge of an age gap where Maria's, like, basically 17, you know? Um, just because I don't like that. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that way, when Delphi does age into a child, I don't have to age up Maria just yet into a young adult, you know? You feel what I'm saying? So... Let me put this in here. Okay, I think it did it. All right, I'm going to just skip ahead to when they are awake in the morning. So I'll see you guys then. Alrighty, guys. So they are awake. We are going to give Delphi some applesauce for her breakfast. She's a little stinky, too, because um, she needs a bath. But that's okay, because we're going to give her a bath pretty soon. I want to be funny to her. I wonder if I can do this while she's eating. I've never seen this interaction, so... Let's see if it'll work here. I don't think you can while she's eating. No. Um, but we can't, or maybe she's telling her a funny story right now because she wants to be funny to Delphi. I think that's what that was. Or maybe it wasn't. All right, well, let's go ahead and tell her a funny story then. Just get that interaction out of the way. Whoa, what's happening? My game's, like, freaking out a little bit. Why isn't this counting? She did do what I told her to, didn't she? Oh, there she goes. Now she's doing it. Oh, she looks so sad because she smells. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Delphi. But once you eat that, it'll be okay, I promise. Everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna give her a bubble bath to get her fun up. Yeah, I'm pretty smart. That interaction didn't count. I'm confused. Whatever. Oh, no. It's okay, Delphi. Let's just, um... I think she's asking for a bath right now. Nope, I guess not. Okay, well, let's give her a bubble bath, please. She didn't quite finish her breakfast, but whatever. Stop! Do what I tell you to do. You're actually freaking pissing me off. I know I'm trying to give you a bath, but thank you. Jeez. Okay. What a fun episode of this LP, am I right? Getting stuff done. 
Okay, so she's playing, and then, hmm. I'm really interested to see how this is going to influence our little Maria, because, you know, we're just going to finish Delphi's applesauce. Is that weird? It's probably a little bit weird. Let's go ahead and stack this while our sister just does whatever. I don't know how you know what a TV is, to be honest with you. Um, because, you know, <laughs> you've never seen one in your entire life, so that's a little weird. I wonder if hug lovingly counts as a hug to Maria. We're going to go ahead and see if it does. Because I want to see what this looks like with a toddler. No, do it, please. I hate how it just cancels the interaction. Like, just go. Aww. I actually couldn't tell if that was really any different. But that was cute. Did that really not count as a hug? You just need to do a normal hug. That's kind of dumb. I don't like that. I know it says hug. Right. I hate that. That shouldn't be a thing. Right. Yep. Ducks. Yep. <laughs> ducks. That is true. Let's give her some flashcards. Teach to talk, I guess. I don't think that's flashcards. I think that's just literally... Oh, no, it is. Or, no, it's not. I'm just kidding. I lied. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then after this, we'll go ahead and we'll make some dinner. We don't really have money to be doing this, so... Just kidding. We're just going to eat some more. Just kidding. That's gone. Okay, great. What do you want, Nancy? Oh, we have stuff to sell in here. I forgot. Let's sell this. Let's sell this. And let's sell this. Um, Breed these two again. Cool. It's like a lot of money right there. I might as well just do it, right? Yeah, I might as well just do it. And then we can serve some mac and cheese for dinner. She's mad. Don't be mad. Go ahead and stack. Uh-oh. She's really not good about emotional control, is she? That's not good at all. Oh, Maria has to work today? Shoot, I didn't even realize that. All right, well, that's fine. Uh oh. At least her needs are pretty good. I just can't potty train her like I wanted. We should go ahead and hire a nanny because I want this to be as realistic as possible. And let's pretend daycare, even though it's technically free, that doesn't make any sense to me. So we're going to pretend. Where is the freaking. Okay, yeah. We're going to pretend actually getting a nanny is um, cheaper because it. It would be, in my opinion, than daycare. So that's what we're going to do right now. Go ahead, Maria. I know you can talk on the phone and do this all at the same time. Don't even, don't. Don't. Just hire her. Just hire an Annie. God, why is this taking so long? Go to work. Hurry. You're like 30 minutes late in her first date. Ew, that's bad. That's real bad. All right, cool. Here's the nanny. Hi. Nanny Trivid. Okay, Seema. I can do that. I am sensibly sufficient in every way. Great. Potty train us. <laughs> oh no, did she use her diaper? Dang it! Why did you do that? You small little child. That's not what you were supposed to do at all. Oh well. We can still potty train, I guess, so... What works, works! Yay! She can use it by herself now. Good job, Delphi! When she's feeling happy, this is great. She doesn't even know that we're gone. <laughs> or maybe she does. I don't actually know. Um, I know we're not quite that hungry, but I think if we just get some food right before we go to bed that way we don't wake up in the middle of the night hungry you know what i mean you feel what i mean you know what i'm saying so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna be pretty mad but it's okay because we need food 
before we go to bed. Did it work? Are you getting food? Please feed us. I freaking love Delphi. She's so dang cute. Oh my gosh. I forget. Is she... She's a charmer. That's right. That's why she's mine that we're gone. Um, because she's just a little social butterfly. Ooh, that's a little hint as to what kind of future Delphi is going to have one day. I don't know how long I want this LP to go on. Um... Probably just to see what sort of sim she turns into when she reaches young adulthood. Or teenage, no, no, young adulthood. Just, you know, kind of following her life, but not like the whole way. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It makes sense to me. And I think it's going to be kind of fun. See where we go in life, see what happens, all that good stuff. We're going to go ahead and not give her a tip. We're going to dismiss her. I'm going to say, thanks for all your hard work. You did great. Um, how much money did we earn? $132. That's not good, but it's not terrible. We have to repair this. Otherwise, we're not going to have a sink. So that's cool. And then how much did we pay her? A <gasps> hundred. So we made $32, basically. <laughs> Great. Just great. And then we can clean this up. We need to get like a freaking... need to get some more space in here is what we need, but you know. Okay. After we clean... No, please just clean this up and then mop this up and then go to bed. I promise you'll have fun tomorrow. I swear. Because you need to wake up before Delphi does, otherwise it's going to be real bad. You're going to hate every... <gasps> Why is she bald? I know I have that hairstyle, so... Ugh. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Well, I will fix that. But first, what I want to do is I just... I know. I'm getting a little crazy here, but... Just watch. Eh? Okay. And then... We can kind of move this... Um... I don't know how I want this to be like this. Oh, you know what else? I can, yep, that's good. Um, maybe just do it this way, you know? No, I don't like it. I don't like it. That's fine, right? Like this? Can they get to the counters and all that? Oh my god, I don't know, hold on. Wait, okay, if we move it here, this that should be like this maybe that should be fine okay and then we can move this in here okay and then why is she awake dang it okay and then I know I'm getting a little crazy I don't really like this at all put this here I hate everything about what's happening <laughs> anyway and okay then we can get this. I don't know. I hate... I don't know what to do right now. I don't like the way this is happening. Maybe like this? This looks a little better, right? And then we can get a really cheap... Like this one. Um, everything's sort of this lighter color, so... Then we'll do this. And then we're gonna, oh no, we don't have enough. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. This looks stupid, doesn't it? Kind of. That looks a, that looks a little better, actually. Um. We'll just see. We'll see how much this annoys me. She's sad, why? What happened? Oh, she had a nightmare. We'll just go ahead and stack these. You don't need to wake us up this second. 
So I'm gonna let her sleep and then I'm definitely gonna fix her hair and then I'm probably toward the end of this part. So, oh, I can sell this, yes, I don't want. Oh, uh, nothing? Because no, we're not going to school. How did she even go to school? I was in Cass. Ugh, this, what a mess. Just what a disaster. Why are you sad? Time to wear black. Sad because I'm sad. You wouldn't understand. Nobody would understand. She's creative and outgoing. I don't know why. Oh, oh, it's a new thing. She's having a mood swing. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here because it's a disaster now and I just need to stop. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you guys are cool with me aging them up whenever I feel like it. And also, if you think it's cool if we stay in this house, at least, at least until Delphi ages up into a child. I'm not sure how many parts that would be. Maybe around like eight or nine, or ten. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe, I feel like eight sounds good. So until part eight, we'll at least live in this house and then we'll see kind of what they're doing money wise and all that stuff. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you liked it in the comments down below and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.